At nine, just days after the president of the University of Notre Dame tests positive for COVID-19, students censured Father John Jenkins. And that happened just days after a smaller group of students petitioned for him to resign. And all of this stemmed from Jenkins' ill-fated trip to the White House Rose Garden in honor of Judge Amy Coney Barrett, a law professor at Notre Dame. And as we've all come to learn, that event likely turned into a COVID-19 super spreader event. With more on the story, here's WGN's Julie Unruh. Clearly, students forced to follow certain rules on campus are upset. They voted to issue essentially a reprimand. Well, guess who else is mad? Alumni. At a time when the president's leadership is being called into question for making the trip and not wearing a mask, Notre Dame is asking its graduates for money. If you make a donation, you get a gift. We'll send you a mask. <laughs> it just was like the timing was so off. I, mean, I think people were really shocked. 1989 Notre Dame graduate turned Chicago advertising executive Danny Baldino finding it hard to ignore the irony when he and his fellow alums received this email. Send money to the Rockne Fund at Notre Dame and get this embroidered mask as a thank you. The email was sent October 7th, less than a week after the president of the school tested positive for coronavirus. He was seen all over the White House grounds on Saturday, September 26th, shoulder to shoulder with others during a pandemic and not wearing a mask. It was probably the wrong time to be going out and asking for, for money. People are feeling the hypocrisy of the situation and they're disappointed by it. Because for weeks, students have been asked to stay on campus, remain six feet apart, and yes, wear masks. They went back to class two weeks early in August in hopes of ending the semester early in November. When word got out about student gatherings and cases on campus exploded, classes were forced to go virtual. The president himself laying out the rules for students and begging for cooperation from kids. The virus is a formidable foe. For the past week, it has been winning. The university even created this online form where students could report other kids who weren't playing by the strict school rules. The assumption, Baldino says, serious infractions during the pandemic could result in students being expelled. You can't travel, you gotta have a mask on, and if you don't, you can be reported, written up by other students on, on a very specific website. Father Jenkins violated his travel policy and then Dan violated the mask policy. So you've got all these students on campus thinking, is this a situation of do as I say and, and not as I do? After Father Jenkins and some of his Notre Dame colleagues returned from the White House gathering, some students reportedly using humor to manage the misstep. I guess multiple students wrote up the president of the University of Notre Dame on a website that was, I'm sure, largely intended to identify students that weren't following the rules. So there's a little bit of irony there as well. Father Jenkins did issue an apology. It said in part, I failed to lead by example at a time when I've asked everyone else in the Notre Dame community to do so. Baldino suggests his loyalty to the Fighting Irish will not waver over this, but he's disappointed. He suspects other alum might express their frustration over the situation using their pocketbooks. The fact that Father Jenkins had gone to the Trump White House and deliberately chose not to wear a mask, and then they start soliciting funds the next week, felt like they didn't really have their hand on the pulse of the Notre Dame community. Notre Dame alumni are unanimously wishing Father Jenkins a speedy recovery, of course, from COVID-19, but many of them seeing this as a sad footnote on an already challenging chapter for the school. We reached out to the university for comment. Spokesperson did not return our calls or emails. Julie Unruh, WGN News.